Hi, fourth and fifth grade. Today we're going to be using Doodle Buddy to make artwork that shows a value scale. If you haven't used the Doodle Buddy app before, it is a white icon with a blue squiggle. You can see it down at the bottom of my screen. So let's open it up and take a look at some of the stuff that we can do with the Doodle Buddy app. Down at the bottom, you can see icons for paint, text box, color, stamps, stencils, and backgrounds. Before we start making our value scale art, let's just take a look at some of these buttons. You can see when I opened up the colors that I was already kind of using that for different value scale. There's some of the stencils that we can use, some of the backgrounds that we can use. So let's start by looking at some of the stickers. You probably won't be using this for this art, but if you're interested, the stickers are just different emojis that you can stick on there. So I just pressed with my finger and I was able to make this little, I think that's the I love you symbol, and you can use your fingers to make it bigger or smaller. If you wanna delete everything, click the trash can icon at the bottom and click erase, and that'll help you start from scratch. Today we're going to be making art that shows a value scale. And when I say value scale, I mean going from light to dark, or dark to light, or, to use the vocabulary, from tints to shades, or from shades to tints, with one color. So in order to start that, I'm going to begin by selecting a background. You can pick backgrounds that show different surfaces, different landscapes, or just plain colors. And I think for this, I'm just going to pick a plain color. But you don't have to do that just because that's what I'm doing. So let's go ahead. I'm going to select um, this orange color. And just to kind of show you what the other ones look like, let's look at this. Um, I think that's like a chalkboard or something. So if you wanted to use that, that's what that'll look like. And then Here's some of the landscape options too. So you have all of those choices in this project. But let's go back to that orange that I liked so much. So just to repeat, we are making art that shows a value scale today. So there's a couple different ways that you can do this. You can just do kind of a freehand thing with some of the paint brushes going from dark to light or light to dark. Or if you're interested in using the stencils, that's another great way to get your shapes really kind of perfect. So there we go, I'm opening up paint. I'm just making sure that my brush size is the size that I want. And I'm gonna go ahead and select a stencil. That's how I'm gonna start today. I think I'm gonna start with this heart stencil right here. But here's some of the other options that you have. And I, I'm going to use my two fingers to drag it and make it bigger or smaller. That's how you move these around and rotate them. And I'm going to go with a blue value scale. I'm going to start with very dark blue, with a very dark shade of blue, because we know that shades are dark. And I'm going to start filling in my stencil. Now I'm going to select a lighter blue on a, the other part of the value scale. I'm going to start kind of dragging my finger around. I'm gonna select another lighter one. And I'm just kind of going up every time I select, and there's my light blue. There we go, there's my finished blue value scale. We've got the shade, the dark shades up on top and the light tints down on the bottom. So now let's go and see, let's pick a different stencil. I'm going to pick this heart outline, and these ones are interesting because they only do the outline of the heart, so you'll see what that looks like. And I'm using my two fingers to move it around again, and I think this time I'm going to go with a purple value scale. So first I'm just selecting this very, very light purple right there, and now I'm going to go back down. I'm going to move it down just a minute, just a little bit to get a, a darker purple darker shade. And now let's see, I'm, I'm going to pick a different 
different shade there and now we're getting into some of the really dark dark shades of purple and let's go one more make it a really really dark shade of purple there try to cover it all up so that's a way you can see that we can you can make a perfect heart outline with one of these stencils so now that we've already done the stencils, let's just look at how to do this freehand and some of the other options. So glitter, chalk, and smudge are other options that you have, but really the only way to do paint is with glitter, chalk, and paint. So let's go with this glitter version, and we'll do a red value scale. I don't really like that V, so let's get an eraser. Oh, and I don't like the size of that eraser, so let's make it a little bigger. There we go, and that's how you use the eraser. So let's go back in, we'll go back to the glitter, make sure our brush is the size that we want. And now let's try this red value scale. There we go, I like that V a lot better. And I'm gonna go a little bit lighter, and a little bit lighter. Ooh, that's getting too light to see almost. There we go, now that's so light that it shows up on the purple. So there we go, so there's my value scale in red. And let's take a look, let's just scroll through some of the stickers, because now that I've got my value scales on here, I can do whatever I want, right? I've finished the assignment, I've got three different value scales on here. So let's see, there's some kind of white and black value scale stickers that I could pick, but I want to see what else we got on here. So I want to see if maybe I can add some heart stickers on there. There's some hearts down at the bottom. And there's some more hearts, but I want to see. There we go. Oh, and there's another red value scale heart sticker. That's perfect. So let's make that a little bigger with my two fingers spreading it apart. I'm going to kind of tilt it like the other ones. And now I want to make sure that I can save this so that I can send it on Teams. And that's what you all are gonna have to do after this is send me your art on Teams. So I'm gonna click the little tools button and then hit save. So that's the way you save. You have to make sure you hit the tools button at the bottom right, that little wrench picture, and then hit save. And that's how you save these.